What is happening to the graph? I mean, a massive crash. We're gonna go over that in this video. Before we do that, I just wanna say a shout out to all the homies out there. Thank you guys so much. We hit 10,000 subscribers. I just wanna thank you so much for that, guys. So, and if you're new here, definitely consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the latest in the crypto space. So what is going on with the graph? What is going on with the market? First, we gotta go to coinmarketcap.com. Let's see what is going on here. You see Bitcoin down at 53,000. Ethereum at $1,754. Binance coin, $265. What is going on in the space? We're getting a pullback, guys. We're getting a pullback. We mentioned this previous videos, previous live streams. Look at this Bitcoin investor tool, two year moving average multiplier. This is the times five of the two year moving average. And what did we say here? We're gonna get into this later in the video. So stay tuned for that. But first, what, what what's going on with the graph? Guys, we, I did caution you guys. I saw the past couple of days, the MACD on a lot of altcoins were looking right, like we're about to have a cross on the daily. So I was like, eh, what is going on there? And with the graph on the daily, we mentioned yesterday and, and previous days, getting above this region right here, $2.43 was crucial. We want to get above that. Look, we, we couldn't, we could not hold that ever. There's no body on the daily that was ever above that. So that's definitely something to keep an eye out on. As well, we had a massive wick down here when Bitcoin crashed th that other day. And Bitcoin crashed again, and look what happened. We had a massive wick down again. This right here, from open to, to down, down to the bottom of the wick, 30% move on the graph. If you guys had a buy order in for you know above $1.60, wow, that was a good call right there, good call. Just keep that in mind. We, we should take a quick look at Bitcoin though, to, sh like to show you guys, let's pull up a cleaner chart. Look at this massive drop right here. Massive drop from 58 all the way to, to like high uh, high 46,000, basically 47,000, about a 20% move right there, about a 20% move in just a single day. What did we say yesterday in the live stream? That's completely normal for bull runs, completely normal in 2017. I expect it again in this bull run. But back to the graph of, you know, the graph. Right here, we're currently at two dollars and four cents. I mean, if you guys bought below two bucks, con like congratulations to you. Kind of curious, are you guys scared right now? Or are you guys not scared? We're gonna zoom in, see what's going on in the four hour. Once again, guys, we had a lot of issues get above that two forty three. Uh, look, we're still looking a little on on the bear side. The, the histogram's still getting bigger candles. We're still going down. We're, we're, so far, we're not seeing a, a reversal. Hopefully, we end up seeing one uh, very soon, like on the one. I mean, on the four hour, it's cooling off on the one hour. That's nice to see. But uh, we'll, hopefully it can happen because it, lo it looked like it wanted to cross here. Said, oh, not happening today. We're still going down. Came back down. We're kind of wanting to cross here, slowly ma making our comeback. You see how the histogram is getting lighter red, like a, a pinkish. So hopefully that en ends up crossing the blue, get it over the red again. We start printing green histograms. We shall see when that will happen, though. This is on the hourly. Keep that in mind. But just keeping the broad spectrum, you know, the big picture. When Bitcoin has these crashes, altcoins crash as well. There are some altcoins that are up. There are always outliers. There's, there are altcoins that are up, as we can see on here on Coin Market Cap. Look, Crypto.com coin is up 65%. Hollow is up 42%. KuCoin share is 20%. So not everything falls. Not everything falls. Keep that in mind. But for the most part, a lot of things are taking massive correction. Massive correction. These are just great buying opportunities, you know, not financial advice. But if you look at the history with Bitcoin and the cycles, if you bought pretty much anywhere, especially any kind of dip like this, even if it was a measly 20%, this is this is not a real dip right here, guys. 30 to 40% 40, 40 corrections are completely normal. But you bought any of these slight dips right here, these little ones or big ones, you held for long term, um, it's it's worked out. It's worked out, guys. So just keep that in mind. So that's just a little wrap with, uh, like, like with the graph. I just want to show you guys the broad you know, the, like the big picture, what's going on, guys, we've had a massive, massive moves, bam, bam, bam. I mean, it, it like it's consolidating, we're literally about a, like a little over a week away from its all time high, it's consolidating right now. And since Bitcoin did have a crash, just expect it to move down a little bit. But I, I do want to go over and like and show you guys some news. So you guys can just relax a little bit. There's a lot going on with the graph protocol, they're integrating all these other blockchains. If you missed the news from the, from, from the other day ago, the, the graph foundation is adding support for four additional blockchains, Polkadot, Near, Solana, and Celo. And there's many more to come, guys. They, they have that list of, hey, we're looking at these. We'll see if we at, at, like end up, you know, at like adding support for these uh, other blockchains. So only time will tell. But I'm expecting them to, you know, add more support for a lot of other blockchains as well. And that's great news for the graph. You know, long term, long term. Because right now is the short term, and it seems like it's a decent buying opportunity. 
So continuing on, I said in the beginning of the video, we're gonna look at this Bitcoin investor tool to your moving average multiplier again, if, if, like if you guys missed it in the previous live stream. So guys, as you can see back here, this was 2017 bull run right here. We topped right around here $20,000. Look, we started getting, so I'll start off. The, like the green line is the two year moving average, just regular two year moving average. So basically the 730 daily moving average, if, like if you know what I mean. And the, the red right here is the two year moving average times five. So you're taking this green number, multiplying it times five, and that's what the red number is, what the red line is. But as you can see right here, we got rejected once, rejected twice, three times, four times, but we went over the four time, came back down, so we got rejected again, then we broke through. So what's that, four or five times we got rejected, finally broke through in 2017, and once we did, we had a blow up top in about, it was about 30 days later, if it, like if I would zoom in here, it's about 30 days later, four weeks later, blow off top, came back down about two months later, broke through the two year moving average times five, and then you know we like we have not been up there yet. The last time we, we've been above the red line is back in January 2018. Look, we still have not been there. Like And look at us right now. Let's zoom in a little bit. Look at that. We start, started getting closer, came back down, nice 30% correction. Boom, came back up. We're very, very close. The two-year moving average is approximately $59,000. We're getting very close there, guys, and it looks like we're having some issues. We're having some issues, a little pullback. Keep in mind, this website updates every, it's like a day behind, so just keep that in mind. But still, we're, we're, like we're getting rejected right now, as we can see on the Bitcoin chart. See that, that massive wick right there? But that's, what does that massive wick show? That wick, that wick is showing a lot of buying pressure, a lot, a lot of buying pressure. So just keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. A lot of buying pressure because it fell all the way down to 46,742 bucks, which was, if you had a buy order for that, that was a, a good buy. I mean, and like anything below 50K was definitely a solid buy. We're still in a solid uptrend, guys. <laughs> People are freaking out. Oh, we're going in the bear mode. No, there, there is no bear mode. We are in, we are in a bull market. Look at this bull market. It's nice, solid uptrend, guys. Nice, solid uptrend. It's parabolic. We're in a bull market. It's just how things work, guys. Just hang tight. Corrections there to sell. It's for the weak hands to sell. We, like, weak hands are sell now. Strong hands are buying. Institutions are loading up, guys. Institutions are loading up more Bitcoin, more Bitcoin, especially Bitcoin. And a lot of millionaires and billionaires are getting into NFTs. And maybe they'll see the potential of the graph. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Who knows? Like we shall see, but definitely give the graph a follow on the tweeters and just try, try to keep a level head. Don't get too scared. Just want to pull the graph up real quick. Don't like, just don't get too scared. If you're too scared, you're probably over invested. This right here is the weekly chart on the graph. I mean, look at it. Nice pump from the Coinbase listing consolidation. Nice pump. We're consolidating. We're consolidating. That's completely normal. Just hang tight. And I, I think this year is gonna have some massive gains to come, massive gains to come. So let me know, are you buying today? Are you selling today? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just some silly dude on the internet. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, afternoon, morning, wherever you're from. And until next time, I'll catch you guys all in the next one.